What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got ourselves a Dragon Dance for Alligator team for ranked Regulation H. Now, when it comes to for Alligator, I haven't used this Pokemon in a good bit. So I'm super excited to actually be using it and hopefully setting up some Dragon Dances today. For Alligator's got Sheer Force as ability with the Life Orb as item, so you know it's here to do some big time damage. It's got Liquidation, Breaking Swipe, like we already mentioned, Dragon Dance for that attack and speed boost. And last but not least, it has Protect. Should be a fun Pokemon. Hopefully, we can pick up some big time KOs and some wins in today's video. Another weird Pokemon, or I shouldn't say weird, another off meta Pokemon that we have is going to be Regular Weezing with the Normal Gem. Now, Normal Gem is going to allow us to get a normal move boost. Which is why we have explosion on this bad boy. This thing is going to explode, do a monstrous amount of damage, and then just hopefully KO the opponents. That's pretty much why Weezing's here. It also has Gunk Shot Will O Wisp. That can also do work, but I kind of only want to use it to explode. It's a lot of fun. Trust me. Final four Pokemon on today's team are meta Pokemon. You got Murkrow, you got Sinisha, you got Archaludon, and Politoed. Archaludon, Politoed, you pretty much know what that they do. They sit in the rain, they send Electro Shots. All that good stuff. Murkrow's going to be a great support Pokemon with Rain Dance, Tailwind, and Haze. And then Sinisha, another support Pokemon that can also do damage considering it has Calm Mind and Macha Gacha. Guys, want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Feralgator team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, we are going up against none other than Oricorio and full corona that combo goes crazy they also have quack Vault, which works with oricorio we're gonna have to watch out for that definitely scary on my end but one thing i do notice is they have t-tart as well so that's gonna be their weather control pokemon we're gonna have to play around that but who should we lead and how should we play because honestly maybe an explosion here could be really good for us an explosion here is not bad it is not bad especially up against all these pokemon besides t-tart we can do a lot of work. So I am going to go Explosion with Weezing here. We're going to end up leading that Pokemon. I could lead Sinisha. Maybe just try to go for Combine considering it is a Ghost type. But I could also just go into like Feralgator. And maybe just Protect Turn 1. Let it explode and kind of play off of that. And I think that's better for us. We go Feralgator and then we can bring Archludon and Politoed in as our late game Pokemon. That is something I do like. So that is something I am going to do. I wonder who they're going to lead. If they end up leading like T-Tar, instead of exploding, we might just go into will o -Wisp and throw a burn onto it. But chances are they go into like a Dancer combo. So I think just protecting Feralgator, normal terrestrializing, exploding, just trying to get rid of the Dancer setup is probably our play. Let's see what they end up doing here. Let's just see. Let's just see. But they, they definitely got to bring in T-Tar. But I don't know if they lead T-Tar. If I were them, I'd bring T-Tar in the back end. But they're going to go low again. Alongside with Oricorio. So yeah, this seems like something's going on. Logan has to have a move or something that pairs up with Dancer. So I'm cool with this. And one thing that they do not know is we don't have, uh, we don't have Neutralizing Gas. And honestly, it would have popped up. So hopefully they didn't notice. But I'm going to go Normal Terra. I'm going to explode. And I'm just going to simply protect it. I'm just going to simply protect. I doubt they protect. Hopefully they don't protect. And I can just launch this. Just launch this into our opponent. Especially Oricorio, like getting rid of Oricorio is so big. So let's see what they want to want to end up doing here. They mean a grass type staring for alligator in the face. So I'm just gonna protect, and we're gonna hit this normal terror. So normal terror explosion with normal gem should honestly KO both these Pokemon, unless one of them sash. I mean Oricorio, ah, does it really rock sash? I don't know. Logan might rock sash, which could be a little rough for us, but still. Looking to explode. Ralgate is going to hit that protect button. No terror comes out on their own, which is fine by me. And Sleep Powder is going to pop in the Frog Gator, which is a great call for us to protect the Gator. So, protecting Gator. Revelation Dance going to fly through here. We should be able to soak this, no problem. Got a crit. That wasn't no problem, but still, we soaked it. And we are exploding. One of you guys have to have the focus sash. It's got to be Logan, right? I feel like it's got to be Logan. I feel like it has got to be Logan. So explosion working pretty fine here. How much damage are we doing here? Someone's dead and someone's sashing, right? Yep, Logan's dead or Corio sashing. That's fine. Okay. I, I thought it would be the other way around, but I knew somebody had the focus sash and somebody was dead. <laughs> so we get rid of the Logan, which is actually pretty good for us considering, I mean, that thing was trying to put us to sleep and I really don't want to go get put to sleep. So Logan's gone. Um, hmm. How do I play this one? Because you're probably going to go into like Bull Corona. I could just go into like you and maybe just send an Icy Wind. Just to slow down and have Feralgator maybe set up a D-Dance. 
That wouldn't be bad, because here's Volcarona. Here is Volcarona. We get out rain, which is good. Um, If they want to use Fiery Dance, we kind of block that. I kind of wish I had another Protect, because I would love to Protect for Alligator. But from here, Icy Wind's just a simple call. And honestly, let's just go for a Dragon Dance. Let's just D-Dance up. Let's get this speed boost popping. Let's go for the D-Dance, because Liquidation is kind of obvious. I could just go into a Liquidation and Volcarona, so I think they're going to Thrasalize. Or, or Withdrawal, that works. So, I mean, going for Icy Wind here is fine by me. Kitar is going to come out here, change up the weather, but I still am going to get off this D-Dance, which is good news for us. The Sandstorm, out and about. Revelation Dance going to fly here. Looking scary. And I soak it. That is huge soak. That's a huge soak, even though all oh, Buffett's going to KO us. Buffets are going to KO us. So double protects and you go crazy. Oh, you are copying my dragon dance? <laughs> Yo, dancer is crazy. You're copying my dragon dance. That's hilarious. Icy Wind, don't miss. Thank you. I was going to say Icy Wind. You got to land into this Oricorio. So we take out Oricorio, which is nice. We get the speed drop on the T-Tar. Um, I could swap into Archer down here, which I think I want to do because I want the weather. And they're going to go into Volcarina. So I got some speed going here. Um, my liquidation is super effective onto both, which is really good news. Um, I got breaking swipe, which could be good for a physical attacker. Like, because it does drop physical attack, which is good. Um, but liquidation is going to be super effective. So, like, who would I rather use liquidation into? I think I honestly rather just go for breaking swipe because there is a hot chance that they go for like rage powder into this slot. And to rationalize Volcarona, that would be a smart play. So instead, I'm just going to go for Breaking Swipe. I'm going to drop the C-Tars attack stat. I'm going to drop the T-Tars attack stat. Just going to play it safe here. Honestly, I, I maybe should have just learned for a Liquidation in C-Tar. But I feel as Politoed and, and Arch Luna can really clean up this match. So I'd rather go for Breaking Swipe. And yep, there's the rationalization. It's probably Volcarona. No, it is going to be T-Tar. So T-Tar is going to rationalize into straight Steel Typing. A nice, lovely steel typing. We are going to drop its attack stat, which is good news on our end. Um, honestly, a little scared of this Volcarona. Break its swipe. Still going to launch. Do solid damage in that Volcarona. Real solid damage. Trigger the berry. More importantly, hopefully T-Tar's not clear amulet. That would just ruin my day. It is clear amulet. Of course it is. Of course it's clear amulet. Ruin my day. Ruin my day. I do get a stamina boost, which is rather nice. In exchange for a special attack drop. And T-Tar, what are you going for? Box line. That's totally fine. Archer Lens going to soak. And of course it dodged it when I actually wanted it to hit me. <laughs> that's, that's like the one time I wanted it to hit me. But well, there we go. Frow Getter getting some work done. Dragon Dance posing a threat. We're now able to get full weather control. And now it's Politoed Arch Ludon versus T-Tar Volcarona. And Volcarona's minus one, isn't it? Are you minus one on speed? No, you're not. Uh, yeah, because you swapped. You were minus one before you swapped. Now I got rain cooking, um, body press is definitely going to be my play in this slot, and if I can launch a weather ball, I'm going to launch a weather ball. Weather ball, flying, struggle bug is going to come out here, drop my special attack, just a tad bit, and my defense is going to go through the roof, which is great. My stamina defense boost. I think body press do more damage, crunch going to fly here into Politoed. We soak, how much damage are we going to do with weather ball and body press? Body press is KO, so that pretty much wraps up this game. I was going to say, as long as one of these moves KO, we're going to win this game. And I don't think Weather Ball can, being minus one. It might be able to. Weather Ball does, like, scary damage. Like, it low-key does scary damage. But there goes Weather Ball. Is it ko in? It was ko in regardless. So, dominate this first match, the Fralligator team, starting off 1-0. So far, so good with the Fralligator team. We're now going up against Eitan, Dozo, and Tatsugiri team. And whenever I see them, I want to bring in my Haze user, which is going to be Murkrow today. We're gonna be rocking out with him. They also have screens with Grimstarrow. This could get real annoying real fast. So I end up leading for Alligator, maybe just trying to set up a D dance. I think so. I think that can work out really well for us. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for Alligator here. Um, do I lead Murkrow? Maybe just set up like a Tailwind? I could. I could go Murkrow, set up a Tailwind. Maybe just foul play around. I feel like a lot of different options here. But yeah, I'm gonna go Murkrow here. I definitely need it to haze. Later in the match, so that's going to be good. I think Arch Luna is a great call for us. And last but not least, I think we have to go into Politoed. I think Politoed, alongside with Arch Luna, just works too well. I honestly don't need Politoed if I set up Rain Dance with my other Pokemon. 
But having like Encore could be nice. Do I want to go into somebody else? I want to go into somebody else. I could maybe just go into you. You you kind of rock. Will I just want to these physical attackers? Could be great. But you know, we're going to go Sinisha instead. We're going to rock Sinisha instead of Palito here. I just feel like having Macha Gacha and Hospitality as your ability. I think it's going to work well for us. Um, if we need rain, I just got to make sure I set it up with Murkrow. That's like my w one only other thing. So. That's the plan. That's the plan. But yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, like Grimmsnarl's a problem. They're probably going to leave Grimmsnarl. They do with gold to go. Um, and Dondozo is a problem. So that's probably their back end Pokemon going to be Dondozo. Um, do I set up the D-Dance here? I think I do. I'm going to set up the D-Dance. And I might just rip a foul play. I'll just go Tailwind here. Hmm. Yeah, let's just set up the tailwind. Let's get this speed cooking for the squad. So I'm gonna get this speed going. Hopefully they swap Golden Go or something. I think they, they just set up a screen and then just make it rain, right? Unless your choice spec. If your choice spec with Thunderbolt, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be so upset. Choice spec Thunderbolt sounds terrible right now. There goes the reflect. And D Dance gonna fly. So if they do some damage, I can always swap into Sinisha, um, and save the Murkrow for later. Let's see what you got. What'd I say? Oh, man, that really hurts. That really hurts. Really, choice spec Thunderbolt. <laughs> really, choice spec Thunderbolt. I just said it, too. I said, if you're choice spec Thunderbolt, that could really suck for us. You know, one Pokemon that's choice spec Thunderbolt. It's this guy right here. So he's choice in a Thunderbolt, um... Start sending some liquidations. I mean, you're gonna get off. You're gonna get off screens regardless. We're gonna target them this right slot. And then we rage powder here. Good combine boost. I'm gonna rage powder here. Let's just play it smart. Let's play it smart. Withdrawals here. You're gonna go into Don Dozo. Or Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri would suck. It's four times resistance, and of course it is, but it's white. Yo, that one's tough. That titanium white. Woo! Looking slick. That's a sweet shiny. That's a sweet shiny. So Thunder Wave's gonna launch. It's gonna get annoying real quick. Maybe I should just drag it dance away with my boy. They're breaking swipe. You got Storm Drain. Okay, so this is not Commander. All right. This is not Commander. Uh, what's it called? This is not a Commander Tatsugiri, which is odd. I'm gonna go breaking swipe now. It's not gonna affect the Grimstone. How much damage is it doing to you? Almost KO, and I was hoping it would. The screen's definitely helping him out. And Draco Meter is going to launch and doing plenty of damage. <laughs> so I'm dead. Oh my lord. I'm gonna go for another Thunder Wave here. Is that your play call? Spirit Break. Alright, I can deal with Spirit Break. I can deal with that. So you're gonna soak it, no problem. And you're gonna get a special attack shop and your physical attacking. Okay. That's fine. So now I can bring out Archer Ludon. Um, I can flash kind of away in the Grim Snarl. You could make a big time read. You could make a big time read, but I think we just go Breaking Swipe here. And we just rip a Flash Cannon. I still have Terra. I gotta remember that. But yeah, I'm gonna rip a Flash Cannon. If you go into Golden Go, you go into Golden Go. I think you go into Light Screen instead. So let's see. Let's see what you got. This is tough, man. Golden Ghost is such a good Pokemon up against what I have right now. And he does end up withdrawing, which is going to be Tatsugiri. So Tatsugiri is going to get the withdrawal here. He's going to save it for later. And let's see who you go into. It's going to be Rillaboom. So Rillaboom comes out here. Grassy Surge looking annoying. I still have Tyra, which is good news for me. Um, and Thunder Wave's going to launch. So he's just going to pest around here and be very annoying with Thunder Waves, which sucks. It honestly does. It honestly does just suck. But no light screen, which is good news. Flash Cannon's going to launch to do significant amount of damage. Great damage there. We love that. And Special Defense Drop pops as well. And of course, I can't move. Of course, I can't get this attack drop. That's all I wanted was this attack drop. So I'll get back some HP. Um, do I Terrasilize now? I think I do. I think I do Terrasilize and say screw it. Let's go Terrasilize with Breaking Swipe. Send it. And then we'll go another Flash Cannon in this slot. Oh, man. 
I was gonna protect for alligator and just like read a protect here, but there is a hot chance that they end up reading that and just and just fake out the arch loot on. So I think just going into breaking swipe with terror right now is good call on our end. Cause there's no way you're going for a spirit break in the for alligator right now. Yep, there's thunder wave. And all right, so this match isn't completely over yet. We are in a tough spot, but we're kind of clawing our way out of here. You're gonna take a nice little knock off and take off my best. It give me a stamina boost, which is great. So I get my defense boost. I've, I feel like I'm gonna be paralyzed this turn. Breaking Swipe's gonna launch. How much damage are we doing onto this Rillaboom? Cause we got now the Terra boost, which is good. Oh, I forgot we got a Sheer Force, so we we will not get the attack drops. We will not get the attack drop. So last match, I was thinking about it. Yeah, last match, we didn't get the attack drops. That's because we're sheer force. Makes a lot of sense now. Makes a lot of sense now. So I get back a little bit of HP here. I like our typings, kind of, defensively. But Tatsugiri, mm, Tatsugiri can just drink a meteor me away. And I think you're going to go into Tatsugiri. Yep, you're going to go into Tatsugiri. And I think here, our call is just going to be the protective alligator. Hopefully, we don't get paralyzed here. And then just Dragon Pulse away this slot. All right, let's see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays. <laughs> I'm getting terrified. So Protect comes out here. Please strike a meteor to for alligator. Go ahead. Wrong slot, man. Wrong slot doing a ridiculous amount of damage. The special attack drops. I get a stamina boost, which is nice. And he's going to go for a U-turn pivot. So he's looking to pivot away here. Please no paralyze. Please don't be paralyzed. I need you here. Come on, man! When I needed you, I needed you. When I need you most. But yeah, I don't know. That match was actually would have been really close. Cause how many turns left in reflect? That's the real question. Only two turns left in reflect. If we would have KO'd the Storm Drain Gastrodon, or not Gastrodon, Storm Drain Tatsugiri here, it would have brought out Golden Go. It would have been thri We would have been. It would have been a lot closer. But yeah, the Paralyze is just. Rip it up into me. I'm gonna go for breaking swipe. Can't really do much here. I guess I'll go for a body press into this slot now. And he's gonna go for another Draco Meteor and finish off my Arch Ludon. But that was a good call for him to dodge to protect there. Go after my Arch Ludon. Smart call. Smart call. Let's see. He's gonna U turn pivot. He's gonna go into Golden Go here. And I feel like I'm gonna be paralyzed again. And wow, you get a crit. Come on, man. I'm trying here. I'm trying. I'm trying. So out gonna come Golden Go. He's gonna be able to soak up these moves, no problem. I'm breaking swipe, gonna launch, gonna take out the Tatsugiri, and he's gonna have fake out ready to go again. Well, that's the ball game. I could protect, but no, it, it just makes no sense. It just makes no sense. If I protect the fake out, he's just gonna be able to KO me with whatever Golden Go has to use, right? Make it rain. Shadow Ball probably. He'll probably go in the Shadow Ball and just rip up into me. But yeah, that's going to be GG's. I'm going to end up running this match. We're sitting 1-1. One and one. Not going to lie, those Paralyzes did do me dirty. But Grimstrong, just such a hard Pokemon to play up against. Moving on to our third and final match. And we are going up against a tough Trick Room squad here in the final match. Now, they got Torkoal. They got Logan. We already know that combo is ridiculously strong. How could we even play up against it? And how could we even maybe win this match. I mean, we're definitely going to need to bring in Politoed to get some weather control. I could end up leading like Murkrow and maybe just setting Rain Dance turn one. That's not bad. That's not a bad call. They could go Hatterene. They could go Indeedee. That's an option here as well. Um, again, how do I want to play this one? I think we just lead Murkrow. Hmm. I don't even know. We could go into like Weezing here. The thing is, Indeedee Hatterene could definitely be the lead here. I think Murkrow is solid call here. So I'm going to go Murkrow. Um, so we're going with the Gator. Yeah, we're going to go Gator. Murkrow alongside with the Gator. I like that call. And then we're just going to go in with Archer, Ludon, and Polyto just for double weather. We have to win the weather war if we want to win this game. Yeah, I think double weather is fine for us. So double weather, we're ready to roll here. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in our final match. We're sitting one and one. First match went pretty well. Second match, Grimmsnarl just going nuclear on us. I mean, screen setting up, Thunder Wave, Spirit Breaks. Grimmsnarl is just an elite support Pokemon. It's so good. It really is. Its moveset is just so perfect for competitive doubles. It's like, 
Oh my lord. It's so good. Every time I go up against it, I feel like it's just always just killing me. It really is. But they're going to end up going into Ursaluna and Hatterene. Now, this could just be like a Guts Protect into like a Trick Room. I can easily see that. Um, as much as I want to set up a... As much as I want to set up a... What's it called? A Dragon Dance. I think just going into a Liquidation into this Hatterene slot. Who could be Focus Ash. Yeah, they're going to protect. This is a great call for us. Good call, man. I wanted to set up a Dragon Dance, but oh, you could be Focus Ash, which could get out of hand real quick. So I'm going to end up setting up the Rain Dance. I'm going to go into Liquidation and just KO you. Beautiful. Beautiful for Alligator. That's what we've been waiting for. <laughs> there you go, for Alligator. Picking up a big time KO. Taking out Hatterene, and now we got the Rain rolling. So they could go back into Torkoal, or not back into Torkoal. They could go into Torkoal. And if they do, guess what, guys? We're just going to set the Rain again. <laughs> then just Liquidation this, uh, this bear. Man, I want a Dragon Dance so bad. I want a Dragon Dance so bad here. I really do. But I don't think I can. I just think we need to use our liquidation value here. There's Torkoal. Guess what, guys? I'm going to set the rain. I'm going to set the rain. Now, who do I attack here? Who do I attack? Who do I liquidation away? I feel like Ursaluna, because I feel like there is a chance that you swap Torkoal. But there is also a chance that you trust less Ursaluna. But I'm going to target it down. Considering it just protected, we know... We know it's very vulnerable here. We know it's it can't protect again. Or it, it, it can, but odds are it's not going to. So I'm ready to just send it. And there's a protect by Torkoal. So great call on our end. Guess what, Torkoal? Rain is gone. And you can't swap Rain anymore because your Ursaluna is probably dead here. Most likely dead. Liquidation in the Rain, Stab, Shear, Force, Life Orb. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. So for Alligator going nuclear here. Cannot change weather anymore. I wonder if their final Pokemon is Logan. Which there is a hot chance of it being Logan. I know it's going to be Gallade. And to be honest, I fairly believe that this Torkoal's Terra type is going to be Fire. So I'm just going to go Foul Play Gallade. And I think I can just end this Torkoal's career right here. I think we just send it, send it away with Liquidation. But yeah, for Alligator going crazy here. Going crazy now. Out comes the Terra. Like I said, if it is Torkoal, it's got to be fire. There's no way you have another type on Torkoal. And no, it's going to be Gallade. So Gallade's going to end up terrestrializing in the grass. We're not even packing that slot with a fire move. Or not a fire move, a water move. And we're just going to say bye-bye to Torkoal. Everybody wave bye-bye. See you, Torkoal. Get it on out of here. For alligator going nuclear here, match number three. Oh, my lord. Go ahead, for alligator. Show them what's up. Foul play's going to launch. Do great damage onto a physical attacker. And Sacred Sword gonna launch and we survived that, but that, that does good damage. Now I can just go foul play. I can just go Liquidation should still KO. I was gonna go break its point, but liquidation should still KO. And it does. Sweeping match number three for alligator again. Going nuclear, picking up all four KOs, no problem whatsoever. The Gator went crazy today. This for Alligator team was a ton of fun to use, rocking out with Life Orb and Sheer Force. And we also had Normal Gem Weezing, which we showcased in match number one. That was a lot of fun just to, you know, hit normal terrestrialization and explode and just dump on our opponents and then win the match from there. A lot of fun with this team. Like I said, you got your meta Pokemon with Politoed, Archelud, and Sinistra, and Murkrow. Then a lot of fun Pokemon with Frowgator Weezing. This team had the perfect mix of everything. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.